subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about, Exam MS 900, Microsoft 365 Fundamentals. Microsoft 365 Fundamentals MS 900 exam is for candidates, who want to demonstrate their foundational knowledge on the considerations, and benefits of adopting cloud services in general, and the software as a service cloud model, who should take the exam. First, who want to demonstrate their foundational knowledge on the considerations, and benefits of adopting cloud services in general, and the software as a service cloud model. Second, can be taken as a precursor, to cloud computing, and technology exams that include Office 365, Microsoft Intune, Azure Information Protection, and Windows 10. Third, best fit for candidates having knowledge, about the general cloud services, and the cloud model. However, it requires an understanding of available options, and benefits gained by implementing Microsoft 365 cloud service offerings. Now we will talk about, learning objectives. Microsoft provides learning exam objectives, that help the candidates to understand, and know about the concepts before preparation. Moreover, these exam concepts are provided with sections, and subsections to make you learn about it in depth. The Microsoft MS 900 exam includes training resources, that provide a learning path to help you during the studying time. However, for the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals MS 900 exam the basic concepts include. First, understanding cloud concepts. Second, learning about core Microsoft 365 services. Third, defining Microsoft 365 security, compliance, and privacy options. Fourth, explaining the pricing and support options in Microsoft 365. Learning path. Microsoft MS 900 exam is a medium to understand how Microsoft 365 delivers powerful and easy to manage cloud-based tools. This includes creating and sharing great work and gaining intelligent security for the modern workplace. However, Microsoft 365 learning paths for the MS 900 exam will help you improve your knowledge and skills to understand the various cloud services. Microsoft 365 refers to a productivity cloud that helps to get innovative and intelligent experiences with rich organizational insights and a trusted platform. Exam Format Microsoft 365 Fundamentals MS 900 exam includes a 40 to 60 number of questions that can be of type like a case study, short answers, multiple choice, mark review, drag, and drop, etc. However, for completing this exam you will be given time duration of 85 minutes. And, to pass the exam, it is required to score a minimum of 700, on a scale of 900. Further, the exam will cost you 99 US dollars including the additional taxes. Candidates can give the exam in English, and the Japanese language. Scheduling the exam. Microsoft MS 900 exam requires good knowledge, and understanding about the cloud concepts as well as Microsoft 365 services. Related to this, Microsoft provides two ways to schedule the exam that includes. First, for non-students interested in technology, schedule with Pearson VUE. Second, for students or instructors, schedule with Certiport. Exam Detailed Course Outline First, describe cloud concepts, which compromises 15-20% to weightage for this exam. Second, describe core Microsoft 365 services and concepts, which compromises 30-35% to weightage for this exam. Third, describe security, compliance, privacy, and trust options in Microsoft 365, which compromises 25-30% to weightage for this exam. Fourth, Describe Microsoft 365 pricing and support options, which compromises 25 to 30 percent weightage for this exam. Topic 1: Describe cloud concepts, 15 to 20 percent. Number 1: Understanding the benefits and considerations of using cloud services. Number 2: Describing the different types of cloud services available. It contains: First, infrastructure as a service. Second, platform as a service. Third, software as a service. Fourth, public, private, and hybrid scenarios. Fifth, position Microsoft 365 in the software as a service scenario. Topic 2, describe core Microsoft 365 services and concepts. Number 1, identifying the Microsoft 365 core components. It contains six subtopics which are. First, 
Windows 10 Enterprise. Second, Exchange Online. Third, SharePoint Online. Fourth, Teams. Fifth, Enterprise Mobility Plus Security Products and Technologies. Sixth, Microsoft Stream. Number two, Comparing Core Services in Microsoft 365 with On-Premises Services. It contains one subtopic which is Identifying the scenarios when usage of M365 services is more beneficial than on-premises services. Number 3, describing the concept of modern management like. It contains four subtopics which are. First, Windows as a service model. Second, use the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and M365 User Portal. Third, Microsoft Deployment and Cloud-based Business Apps. Fourth, Microsoft Managed Desktop Streamlining Business Needs. Number 4, Explaining Office 365 Pro Plus Offerings. It contains one subtopic which is Compare with on-premises Office 2016 deployment. Number 5, Identifying the collaboration and mobility options with Microsoft 365. It contains two subtopics which are First, Explaining the concept of effective collaboration with Microsoft 365. Second, describing the concept of enterprise mobility, device management, and application management within an organization. Number 6, defining analytics capabilities in Microsoft 365. Topic 3, describe security, compliance, privacy, and trust options in Microsoft 365. Number 1, understanding security and compliance concepts with Microsoft 365. It contains two subtopics which are First, identifying the key components within an organization's cloud and on-premises infrastructure that require protection. Second, describing the key security pillars of protection, including identity, documents, network, and devices. Number two, explaining identity protection and management options. It contains three subtopics which are First, describing concepts of cloud identity, on-premises identity, and hybrid identity. Second, identifying the document protection needs and capabilities of Azure information protection. Third, understanding the multi-factor authentication. Number three, describing the need for unified endpoint management, security usage scenarios, and services. It contains two subtopics which are first, comparing security usage scenarios and services available with Azure Active Directory P1, P2, and Active Directory domain services. Second, learning about how Microsoft 365 services addresses the most common current threats. Number 4, describing capabilities of the Service Trust Portal and Compliance Manager. It contains three subtopics which are First, understanding the trust relationship with Microsoft. Second, describing service locations. Third, explaining how to address most common cloud adoption issues. Topic 4, describe Microsoft 365 pricing and support options. Number 1, learning licensing options available in Microsoft 365. It contains four subtopics which are First, identify M365 subscription and management options. Second, describing the key selling points of M365 and segments of productivity, collaboration, security, and compliance. Third, identifying the different licensing and payment models available for M365. Fourth, understanding how to determine and implement best practices. Number two, describing pricing options for. It contains three subtopics which are. First, cloud solution provider pricing model for Windows and Microsoft Cloud Services. Second, describing the basics of cost benefit analysis for on-premises versus cloud services. Third, identifying available billing and bill management options. Number 3, Understanding Support Offerings for Microsoft 365 Services. It contains four subtopics which are First, describing how to create a support request for Microsoft 365 Services. Second, identifying service level agreements. Third, describing how to determine the service health status. Fourth, explaining the service health dashboard. Number 4, Describing the service lifecycle in Microsoft 365. It contains one subtopic which is Understanding private preview, public preview, and general availability, and their correlation to support policy, and pricing. Exam policies. 
Microsoft provides exam policies to support the candidates, by providing every detail related to the certification program. However, candidates during the studying for the MS-900 exam, should first go through, and understand the Microsoft certification exam policies. On this page, the candidates will get information about after the exam, or before exam procedures. This includes the exam retaking process, rules to be followed during the exam time, and other information about the exams, and its testing centers. Now, we will discuss about, study resources for Microsoft 365 Fundamentals. Below you will be provided various methods, and ways that will help you during the Microsoft 365 Fundamentals MS-900 exam preparation. First, Microsoft Learning Platform. Second, Microsoft Documentation. Third, Instructor-led Training. Fourth, Books for References. Fifth, Joining Study Groups. Sixth, Exam Practice Tests. Let us now, discuss about study resources in detail. First, MS Learning Platform. Microsoft provides access to candidates, to get information about the exam using the learning resources. For the MS 900 exam, these study resources can be accessed from the official exam page. You just have to search for the MS 900 exam, and the essential information will be provided, that will help you in understanding it better. Second, Microsoft Documentation. Using Microsoft Docs, you will make you understand the basic cloud concepts, and the MS 365 services. As, it includes various modules that will guide you, step by step thus, make you understand the things more accurately. Also, Microsoft Docs will help you gain knowledge about the cloud services, the software as a service cloud model, and implementing Microsoft 365 cloud service. Third, instructor-led training. This training will help students, to gain foundational knowledge on the considerations, and benefits of adopting cloud services, and the software as a service cloud model, with a specific focus on Microsoft 365 cloud service. In this, the candidates will perform an in-depth review of Microsoft 365, that includes a comparison of Microsoft on-premises services, versus Microsoft 365 cloud services. The course will analyze, how security, compliance, privacy, and trust are handled in Microsoft 365, and it concludes with a review of Microsoft 365 subscriptions, licenses, billing, and support. Fourth, Books for References. Those who are dedicated, to passing the exam know the importance of books during the time of preparation. However, there are books out there that will guide you during the preparation for the MS-900 exam. This includes 1. MS-900 Microsoft 365 Fundamentals Book, by Craig Zacker. 2. Microsoft 365 Certified Fundamentals MS-900 Exam Guide by, Aaron Gilmet, Marcos Zonier. 5. Joining Study Groups. These groups can be very beneficial, as they will help you to stay connected with the other people, who are on the same pathway as yours. Here you can start any discussion about the issue related to the exam, or any query. By doing so, you will get the best possible answer to your query. Sixth, exam practice tests. This can be a very essential part that can help you to prepare better for the exam. By practicing, you will be able to improve your answering skills that will result in saving a lot of time. The best way to start doing practice tests is after completing one full topic, as this will work as a revision part for you. So, make sure to find the best practice sources. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.